Hey, how's it going guys? This is gonna be a real quick video showing how to get the mouse and keyboard set up on your Xbox One console for the game Apex Legends. Now the setup is the same for all games. I'm just using Apex Legends because it's, you know, pretty new and really popular right now. So the first thing we'll need to do is find some mouse settings. So I've already gone through and made the official mouse settings for this game. So we can go to the official mouse settings section of the forum. If you're not able to find a game that you like in there, there's a section under the Cronus Max mouse and keyboard support with user submitted mouse se uh, settings. And that'll be where you can find all of the mouse settings made by all of the members in our community. So we'll go over here to the official mouse settings section. Go to Apex Legends. We'll find the mouse that we have. Now, if your mouse is not listed in any of these, I will cover what to do here in just a couple of steps into the video. Uh, basically the setup process is exactly the same, but you'll only need to change one thing uh, on, your, on your setup versus the mouse settings that's posted in any of these threads. So I'm using a G502, so I'll go in here. And what you'll need to do is basically just start at the top of the thread and read all the way through and make sure that you have everything set up exactly how all these pictures are shown. So uh, the first thing that it shows you to do, tells you to ignore your uh, the controller that you use for authorization. Uh, I'll show you what I mean right now by, by authorization uh, whenever we get to, to, the setup, uh, to the setup part. You wanna make sure that your DPI is set, what we tell you to set it to, and that all of your other mouse settings are the same. Now your button mappings and all that stuff, that's all personal preference. The DPI and the polling rate is what's important here. And then again on the XAIM end and, and the Cronus Pro software, this is a screenshot of my personal button mappings. You can map your buttons to be whatever you want. The mouse settings is what's really important. You need to match these exactly on your end to what I have in this picture here. And then in the mouse DPI box, that's the setting that your mouse uses. So if you have a mouse that is not listed in the official mouse settings section, you can use these exact same settings. You just have to be 100% sure that your mouse DPI is set to what your mouse is using. This isn't, you know, you say, oh, I wanna use 5,000 DPI, so let me change this to 5,000. That's not how that works. If your mouse over here is set to 2,000 DPI, you need to be sure that in XAIM, the mouse DPI box is set to 2000 DPI. So ours is 2400 because our mouse is set to 2400. And then the in-game settings, this is also really important. You have to match these one to one, meaning they have to match exactly what this picture shows in the game so that your mouse will feel how it feels on my end. And again, this is a personal preference, so you can go through and tweak these to your personal liking but the in-game settings need to stay the same. To change the way your mouse feels, you always adjust your uh, XAIM mouse settings. So again, match these exactly, match this exactly, and be sure that your DPI matches and you're pretty much good to go no matter which mouse that you're using. So to show you how quick and easy it is to set this up, I'm gonna take your Cronus Max and I'm gonna plug it into the Xbox. So I apologize for the shaky video. Again, I'm doing this one-handed using my cell phone so I can show you how quick and easy it is to do. So I've plugged in the Cronus. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's flashing AU, meaning it's wanting an authorization controller. So I come over here, take my Xbox One controller. Let's move it over here next to the console. And I'm going to plug it into the Cronus. All right, now the Cronus is plugged in. It shows a zero. And if you notice over here on the game screen, it's no longer complaining that the controller is disconnected. So if I move the thumbstick around, as you can see, it moves around right there. So now to get the mouse and keyboard working, we'll come over here and we will open up Cronus Pro. By default, uh, let's see if I can get this to focus. It loads the uh, online GPC library. 
And now that Cronus Pro is open, let's go ahead and connect the Cronus to our computer. There's this little port on the side here that says PC Prog. That's your PC program port. So let me take this mini USB cable, loop it through here, get this to focus. And let's see if I can do this one handed. There it goes. Oh, it's a little bit difficult. Makes me nervous. There we go. Wasn't at the right angle. All right. And as you can see, I've now connected my Cronus to the PC. So I can go into the plugins menu, open up XAIM, and you can go to file, you'll create a new layout. And in the new layout is where you'll go through and set all your buttons. And then once you've set your buttons, you'll go into the layout options, mouse settings, make this match the screenshot from the thread. And from there, all you have to do is enter capture mode. And now, let's see if the game didn't freeze. Oh, get my hand in the shot. As you can see, I'm playing Apex Legends with the mouse and keyboard. So again, just to cover the, the hardware setup, you'll take your Cronus, you'll plug the Cronus into the Xbox, it'll flash AU, take your controller, plug the controller into the Cronus, use the PC program port over here on the side of the unit, connect that to your computer, open up XAIM, or cross aim, however you want to say it. Open up your mouse settings, enter capture mode, and then you're good to play. It wants me to reconnect the controller. Come over here. Plug the Cronus in. It wants to authorize, it authorizes. I take the cable. Plug the mini USB into the side of the Cronus. Now it's connected to the PC. Come over to the PC. Open up XAIM. Enter capture mode. And now my hand is controlling the mouse and the mouse is controlling the console.